Hello and welcome. This is my 1996 Nissan Silvia K's Aero S14. And this is an LT5 Corvette engine swap. And as you can see in the top corner of the engine swaps image, it says compatible. So that is what we are going to be testing out today. But before we actually swap the vehicle, let's just test out the Silvia stock. Now I think stock is the wrong word to use because the Silvia is not stock. Now this has a fully upgraded SR20 that comes with the Silvia originally. Now this has upgraded ECU, turbocharger, pistons and so forth. The motor is fully upgraded. So this is the most we can get out of the standard engine. And it's quite a lot. We are running with 481 brake horsepower. And after weight reduction, the car is just over 1000 kgs. So power to weight is incredible. But what's even more incredible is how fast this car actually is around the circuit. Even with no traction control, the car does not feel overpowered to a point where the rear wheels are lighting up yes you do get a bit of slippage here and there but this car is incredible around corners like i might actually say that the car handles better than a group 3 vehicles it can even rival the handling of some group 3 vehicles now this car is set up incredibly well this is the setup on screen right now if you do want to try it out so the car just has a way of carrying its power and putting its power down that just is perfect. It's just the right amount of power. The car isn't underpowered, isn't overpowered. It is just spot on. Now my main concern is with the LT5 engine swap, we are we're basically doubling the horsepower of this engine swap. And to me, I feel like that's gonna run into an issue because it's gonna basically overpower the vehicle it's gonna be a bit too much power for the vehicle to handle and i see this leading to some issues but with this being said i could be completely wrong so let's just go ahead and engine swap the sylvia now we see that the standard lc5 engine actually gives us almost a 300 horsepower gain over the fully upgraded sr20 and we're not just going to stop there because as I said, we can double the Sylvia's horsepower. So we're going to take this LT5 swap, throw it in and then still fully upgrade it and see the full potential of this LT5 engine swap. So now we are just going to apply every possible upgrade we can and we take that 754 brake horsepower that comes standard with the engine and take it up to 1066 brake horsepower. That actually means that this car has a power to weight ratio of less than 1 to 1. Now that can mean two things, either this car can be absolutely incredible around circuits or it could be a complete nightmare to drive really is just up to your tuning capabilities now i feel like i have a pretty decent tune in the car so if you do want to try it out for yourself you can pause it here and just copy it down so the first experience when you jump behind the wheel of this now thousand horsepower nissan sylvia is wheel spin if you have no traction control on and you slam your foot down you are gonna just experience a lot of wheel spin those rear tires are gonna light up even if you are using racing soft tires there is absolutely no grip so that means when it comes to corners you do need to be a bit careful so the car is gonna be not as controllable as when it still had the sr20 but the car is still manageable it's nothing to be like oh the cars are nightmare to drive you can still get around a circuit in an incredible lap time i've actually said faster lap times now with the lt5 engine swap than with the sr20 so yes the sr20 was incredible around the corners but it's absolutely no match for the lt5 when it comes to power on the straight lines so the way the power just honestly propels this car forward is unlike any other SR20 or any other engine in fact that we can put in the Sylvia. 
Now the trickiest part about the Sylvia has to be exiting the corners. Now entering the corner is no problem. You just come in, even taking the corner. You let off the accelerator, maybe half throttle around the corner. But when you come to exit, if you apply the throttle too soon, the car is gonna try and bite back. The rear wheels will light up and the back end will just have its mind of its own. So you really have to be careful when it comes to exiting the corners. So yes, it is not as easy when it comes to cornering as when the SR20 was still in it, but the LT5 just has so much more power that whatever time you did lose in the corners, the minute you come out of them, it makes it back. The LT5 is an incredible engine swap and it sits perfectly in the Sylvia. And after a while, when you do get used to it, it is a, such a ball to drive. The car has ample power throughout the rev range and it is just a blast. Even if you want to start sliding the vehicle, you can just go for it. However, we have seen the swap before. Now this is my 1994 Nissan Sylvia K's Type S S14. Now this too also has an LT5 engine swap. The exact same LT5 engine swap that is in the Aero S14. So it's the same power plant, the same chassis. The only thing that's different between these two vehicles is the year and the body styling not even the body it's really just the bumpers that are on these vehicles that are different now this is an issue that i have with the s14 aero having the same engine swap as the normal type s s14 now as you can see how i spun out and this is an untuned version and it goes back to me saying if you have a good tune the car can be perfect if you have a bad tune it can be the worst driving experience this car is not tuned at all so it really struggles putting all of the power down so my problem with the aero s14 having the exact same engine swap as the type s is i see this as a missed opportunity we could have had the chance to engine swap something completely different into the aero s14 then just basically copying something that's already in the game if we're gonna look at engine swaps, let's make the engine swaps unique. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying if we could have had something completely different. For example, if we took that same Aero S14 and we got a 13B, if we put a rosary into it, that would be like, wow, you know, this is such a unique combination. And I understand people don't like it because it's, it's a bit far-fetched, but that's still, a reasonable engine swap people have done it in real life and people have seen good results so so why can't we just bring that into ground Turismo 7 to me it feels like if we had that it would be more of a special engine swap i don't know it really doesn't make it unique that the boat s14s that can be engine swap have to be engine swap with the same thing we have so many different engine swaps in the game. Even if it was a different LS engine, I would have taken it because it would have been more unique than something we already have in game. But hey, that's just my two cents. You can agree with it, you don't have to, but that's all I have to say. So, that wraps up the LT5 swap S14. So now the car, incredible power, heavy when it comes to consumption, fuel consumption it's not gonna get you very far if you're doing an endurance race however the power will allow you to absolutely lap whatever opponent you're racing against so with all that's been said hope you did go on to enjoy this video don't forget leave a like and subscribe for more grounds and more content peace